Good afternoon. I am pleased, wonderfully pleased to be part of the service today. The Department of Administration has provided administrative support and funding for the Martin Luther King Jr. Commission since its creation in 1993. A part of the Commission's function is to encourage appropriate ceremonies and activities that are associated with the legal holiday for Dr. King's birthday. It is an honor to be a part of today's service as we remember Dr. King's legacy and reflect on integrating his vision into our everyday lives. Not many people know this, but Dr. King's mission was advanced in a significant way by a North Carolina State employee named John R. Larkins. John Rodman Larkins grew up in Wilmington and later served the state government as a welfare worker in Warren County. Following this service, he became the coordinator of civil rights at the Department of Welfare and then assumed responsibility of directing youth programs for the Department of Corrections. Throughout his lifetime, Mr. Larkin served as an exemplary state employee and received numerous awards for his contributions to Christian and civic service, all the while being recognized for his contributions to race relations. The News and Observer commented on him by saying, this gentle but determined man made his constructive influence felt in local and state race relations during the tense 1960s. So each year during this service, we award the John R. Larkins Award to a, honor a state employee for his or her exemplary contributions to fostering positive human and race relations in the workplace. This year, I'm honored to recognize the five finalists, including the winner of the John R. Larkins Award. I'd like to introduce the five finalists now, and if you are here, raise your hand, please, so you can, they, people can see you, who you are. The five finalists are, in alphabetical order, Sergeant Jerry Bailey, the correction, uh, Correctional Sergeant of the Department of Public Safety, Beth, Beth Frith, Field Representative of the Department of Agriculture, Robin Griffin, the Chief Probation and Parole Officer of the Department of Public Safety, Natasha Harris, Probation Officer, Department of Public Service, Safety, excuse me, and Edward Jackson, the Chief Probation Officer for the Department of Public Safety. So I want to congratulate all of you that were nominated for what work you've done. <laughs> At this time, I'm especially pleased to announce that the State of North Carolina's Martin Luther King Jr. Commission selected Robin Griffin as this year's John R. Larkins Award winner. Robin, if you'll come up and uh, I'd like to present something to you. While Robin's on the way up, let me give you a little bit of background about Robin. Uh, she began her career in, as a correctional officer with the Department of Public Safety in 1995. And because of her compassion and fairness, she was promoted four times before her final promotion to Chief Probation Officer. As a result of her recognized experience and leadership skills, she serves on numerous committees, including the Justice Reinvestment Training Committee. Most recently, she served on the, as a team leader for the Evidence-Based Practices Sustainability Team. She represents the Department of Public Safety at the UNC School of Government's Forum on Evidence-Based Practices and contributed to the development of a guidance for single-use substance abusers facilities for women. Robin's commitment to her community continues in her home service town of Statesville, where she is involved in her church community, working on race relations issues and tirelessly with agencies that assist individuals of lower socioeconomic class. She spearheaded lecture forums, including Shaping Our Future, Shaping Our Minds, and the collection of school supplies through the Martin Luther King School Supply Committee project for Iredale County. Through her college sorority, she implements programs to develop leadership within the African American community. So you can see that Robin is a role model professionally and in our community for all of us. In addition, she embodies success in her personal life as exemplified by her twin girls' scholastic achievements, and I'm sure that keeps you busy. <laughs> because of Robin's commitments to her fellow man and to helping people in all walks of life, she is a testament to Dr. King's content of character vision. Robin, I commend you for this accomplishment and especially the gift of yourself back to others. I congratulate you for this, for this year's 2015 winner of the John R. Larkins Award. Our 
be very, very brief. I just want to take this time and thank everyone for this opportunity. I am so grateful and so honored to be a part of such a great day to look at Dr. King and continue to work in the community, to work hard, to continue to work and move forward with the ideals. So I'm going to continue to work hard and do the best that I can. Thank you so much.